Hi friends, in this video we will discuss about thermodynamics. The term thermodynamics means flow of heat and is derived from the Greek thermos means heat and dynamics means flow. Thermodynamics, the study of the transformation of energy explains all such process quantitatively and allows us to make useful predictions. To understand thermodynamics, we need to consider some properties that is temperature, pressure, volume and concentration of the system. Thermodynamics is applicable to macroscopic system not for individual atoms or molecules. It is not a time factor. It concerns only with the initial and the final state of the system. The principles of thermodynamics are based on three laws of thermodynamics. The first two laws, that is the first law and second law, summarize the actual experience of interconversion of different forms of energy. The third law deals with calculation of entropy that is a randomness and the unattainability of absolute zero Kelvin. Thermodynamics carries high practical values but bears certain limitation or drawbacks. It is independent of atomic and molecular structure and reaction mechanism. The laws can be used to predict whether a particular reaction is feasible or not under a given set of conditions, but they cannot give the rate at which the, rate the reaction takes place. Before studying the law of thermodynamics and their applications, it is important to understand the meaning of few terms used frequently in thermodynamics that is system, surrounding and boundary. The system is the part of universe which is under thermodynamic consideration. It is separated from the rest of the universe by real or imaginary boundaries. அதாவது நம்ம ஒரு ஒரு ரியாக்ஷன் வந்து நம்ம எங்கே ப்ரொசீட் பண்ணுறோமோ அந்த ஏரியா தான் சிஸ்டம் அதை தவிர்த்த ரிமைனிங் பார்ட் அது சரௌண்டிங் நம்ம எடுத்துக்கலாம் அப்போ சிஸ்டம் சிஸ்டமையும் சரௌண்டிங்கும் எது வந்து பிரிக்குதோ அந்த எல்லை கோடு தான் பவுண்டரி ஓகேங்களா ஸோ எவ்ரி திங் இன் த யூனிவர்ஸ் தட் இஸ் நாட் த பார்ட் ஆஃப் த சிஸ்டம் is called surrounding the remaining part of the system is called surrounding there are three types of thermodynamic system depending on the nature of the boundary that is open system closed system isolated system so in open system can exchange both matter and energy with its surrounding for example hot water contained in an open beaker here dm that is a mass is not equal to zero energy also is not equal to zero appo mass and energy are constant a irukadu so that's the meaning irukku then closed system here the boundary is sealed and not insulated so cannot transfer matter but can transfer energy in the form of heat work and radiation to or from its surrounding so for example hot water in closed beaker that is here dm equal to zero that is a in a mass change agadu but delta e that is de is not equal to zero and third one is 
isolated system a system which can exchange neither matter nor energy with its surrounding that is called isolated system here boundary is sealed or insulated for example hot water contained in a thermo flask so here mass and energy is equal to zero appo inga mass and energy um maaradu change aagadu okayla so next topic thermodynamics equation of state so some of the properties of a system depends on its mass or size whereas other properties do not depends upon the mass and the size based on this properties of system are grouped as extensive property and intensive property appo or system mass and size purthu that is a depend on the chances na that is extensive property for example volume number of moles mass internal energy that is u etc adave or system independent of the mass and size adin sonna adu intensive property for example temperature pressure molar volume density refractive index boiling point freezing point etc so next topic is a thermodynamic process that is the method of operation which can bring about a change in the system is called thermodynamic process heating cooling expansion compression fusion vaporization etc are some examples of thermodynamic process a thermodynamic process can be carried out in different ways and under different conditions the process can be classified as one by one first one is isothermal process so iso nu sonna same thermal na temperature appo engala temperature maaram irukko adu isothermal process that is dt equal to zero the temperature of the system remains constant during the change from its initial to final state for this purpose the experiment is often performed in a thermostat second one is adiabatic process there is no change of heat that is q between the system and the surrounding during the process those process in which no heat can flow into or out of the system in adiabatic process if work is done by the system the temperature decreases or if work is done on the system its temperature increases because the system cannot exchange heat with its surroundings and the third one is isobaric process fourth one is isochoric process but pressure vandu is not equal to zero vanchana pressure vandu maaram vanchu sonna ad isobaric volume does not change avin sonna ad isochoric process illa appa the volume of the system remains constant during its change from initial and final state is a isochoric process combustion of fuel in bomb calorimeter is an example of isochoric process and last one is cyclic process when a system returns to its original state after completion a series of changes then it is said to be cyclic process in cyclic process delta u equal to 0 delta h that is enthalpy equal to 0 delta p equal to 0 delta v that is volume equal to 0 and delta t equal to 0 so these are the some introduction of uh, thermodynamics thank you friends